People uh, keep going around saying, look, I ain't go to school for this, for none of that. My schooling is, uh, my schooling is right here at home in my study hall receiving the truth from Elohim. A lot of people that clear that have been to school, took up theology and all that to try to prove to people how smart they is religiously. Look, let me tell y'all something. I'm speaking from um, experience as a child of God, and I'm also talking from what I'm reading out this uh, out this Bible. Everybody keeps saying God don't punish us. God don't punish the believers and all that. What are you talking about? Yes, he does. God rebukes those who go out and keep sinning, and especially if you're a chosen one, you catching it. Hebrews 12. Verse 4, I'm going to start at verse 4 because the title was God disciplines his children. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have, and have you completely forgotten this word of, of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son. It said, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you. Because the Lord disciplines the one he loves. He and he uh, chastens everyone he accepts as his son. What does chastening mean? I'm getting I'm getting really irritated with people talking about some he don't punish us and he just disciplined, he just give us a smack on the hand. Jesus died for our sin. Yes, he did. And shame on uh, on us that. When the Holy Spirit tell us don't do wrong, and we do it anyway. What you think Elohim finna do? He finna spank us. We finna catch it. <clears throat> because the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Chastens. To correct by punishment or suffering. Chastening. Of a rebuke or misfortune having a restraining or humbling effect. Huh? And then in the hallelujah scriptures, it's flogs. The word is flogs. Because the Lord disciplined the ones he loves and he flogs everyone he accepts as his son. What does the word flog mean? Punishment or torture. Punishment. Now, he punished those he loves because... Before we, when we are saved and we slip, we know we, we're about to do something wrong, but we do it anyway. Elohim is not going to just pat, 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 that's it. Now, I told you and give us a couple of scriptures and go about business. No, it don't work that way. That's why it says better not to know the word, know the truth, than if you receive the truth and you go out and do wrong anyway. No, it's like like you uh, your child. Your child know better. Your child know not to leave off the porch. She know not to leave off the porch, but if she or he going to do it anyway, you're going to be upset as a parent, as a loving parent, and you're going to discipline your child, right? And what do you do? You spank them or you either put them on a punishment, right, for, for uh, disobeying you. And they knew they shouldn't have left off the porch. It's not like they didn't know. And they like they weren't being they haven't been warned. And that's how uh, Elohim do us. Especially those he has chosen, his children. He disciplined us. And like I say, I've been through this conviction before. I heard the Holy Spirit tell me don't do something. I did it anyway, and I caught it. In the name of Yahshua, I called it. And it wasn't no lightly discipline. It wasn't a pet. It, it wasn't just a scripture I had to read. Or I heard something on the radio and I said, okay, I shouldn't do it. No, I got rebuked. I was chastised. I was punished. Oh, Heavenly Father. I was punished. And, and thank God that I was real quick. Because I came out of that and I realized what I had done. And I know I shouldn't do it no more. I keep trying to tell people, everybody up here on YouTube and over here preaching this, man, then everybody falling quick and knowing it don't make sense. Don't stop having questions if you're not setting right with what this person is saying. We keep going to other people for uh for answers of Elohim word. 
No, this is what I also was taught as well in the Hallelujah Scriptures. In this translation, you will find no comments or footnotes. That's always bad man always putting his little footnote in the Bible about what this meant and what that meant and all that. Okay, it is vitally important that if you do not understand a certain issue from Scripture, that you must ask Yahweh. To teach you through the rock or Kadash, that's the Holy Spirit. He is your teacher, not man. Huh? You get the word by you, you get the word from Elohim by reading your Bible. And you get understanding through the rock or Kadash, that's the Holy Spirit. You receive it from the Spirit of God. Sometimes we read and we don't get understanding right there because it's not meant for us to understand it right then and there. Yeah, God also works through people, but but, but if you notice when you still wait on that understanding and, and you you looking for something else and you get an answer for something else that you had asked a while back, that's the spirit. If we searching it through man, we're not going to get it because we're going to start depending on man for these answers. And, and when we start depending on man, we're going to be misled of the truth. Because we're depending on man who's going to mislead us with the truth. Because man is so smart. They're going to start distorting the word, distorting the truth, distorting the understanding of Elohim. So you always, before I keep trying to tell people, before you start reading your Bibles, always pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and true revelation of his word. That's what happened with Paul. Hallelujah. Now, I'm, 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 forgive me, God, for being up the way I am right now. But time is running out, and there's a lot of people out there that's lost. And it, it just really, I feel exasperated at times because I'm constantly hearing, you know, people seeing mis, misleading words and misguiding our people that's already lost. And the people that's misleading others is supposed to be believers of the truth. Elohim is your teacher, not man, folks. The only way you can you can get the truth is lest you open up a Bible. Pray what I just told y'all to pray before you start reading. And trust Elohim to give you wisdom, not to understand the true revelation. He's going to give you the secrets. Of his word. And you're going to know it was from Elohim. You're going to know it was from him. And not man. Because when we start worshiping. When we start getting these words and teachings from man. We're going to start slowly. Worshiping man. I'm telling you. And then next thing you know. We're going to be misled. Because they're going to start distorting it. If they ain't already distorting it. So just be careful. Yes people. We do get punished by God. When we are when we are under the blood of Jesus and we doing wrong, we know what we doing is wrong. We do it anyway. We're going to get rebuked by Elohim. I don't understand why they keep saying. I guess they they trying to say in a different form of why he don't punish. I don't understand it, but I know what I went through and I know what I read. And I'm not. I'm bold with what I'm saying. I'm not finna. Okay, well maybe you know. No, I know for a fact that he punished us. Now, I'm not even talking about unbelievers today. I'm talking about the believers. You go get some answers on what weeping and gnashing of the teeth mean. People don't understand what that means. Everybody keep thinking that's about hell. No, that's not. Huh? The outer darkness, when, when the believers is out, put out in the darkness with the weeping and gnashing of the teeth, that's punishment. That's another story. I got a video on that down there. Check it out. We are here to speak the truth. Listen. For wisdom, because that's the only way you're going to get this, is through wisdom. Not just nitpicking videos over here and listen to this past and this preacher and putting it together. No, stop being afraid to go to Elohim for, uh, uh, for, for the true teachings. God bless you.